on crypto uh, a bit here. Coinbase is another name that you hold as well. And uh, some remarks this week by John Paulson, uh, I think got a lot of people up in arms, so to speak, in the crypto community saying that he views it as uh, crypto is, is worthless. Um, what do investors like that who criticize crypto, what don't they understand? Uh, John Paulson is, um, he made an incredible call during the mortgage crisis. He has been uh, a, a gold bug, I would say, for uh, most of his career. Uh, and many uh, investors who have spent uh who have spent their careers focused on gold cannot understand the digital uh, concept associated with gold. Uh, what we think he's missing is this is much more than just a, a store of value or digital gold. Uh, Bitcoin in particular is a new uh, global monitor, monetary system. It's a rules-based monetary policy, um, which is uh, completely decentralized and therefore uh, is, is not um, subject to the whims of policymakers. In fact, it's a hedge against the whims of uh, policymakers, especially in emerging markets. And uh, as far as other crypto uh, uh, currencies, Ether being the biggest, uh, we're seeing the DeFi movement, decentralized finance, Again, uh, Chairman Gensler is going to take a close look at it, uh, which I think will be good. Let's just get the regulators on board, uh, because at the end of the day, what we think uh, decentralized finance is doing is uh, making the finance, taking the friction out of a lot of financial services and taking a lot of the middlemen out of financial services. Uh, so uh, that is also a good thing. Um, other than that, you know, there's some... I, I don't know how closely uh, John Paulson and some of the other naysayers have looked at it, but I know there have been conversions. Ray Dalio has been a conversion, Stanley Druckenmiller, uh, and you know these are very thoughtful uh, investors uh, who who at one point thought. Bitcoin was a Ponzi scheme, and uh, in some cases, and uh, have been converted. And I think one of the reasons they, they have been converted is when you think about what blockchain technology is doing, it is putting into place uh, uh, via the internet the payments ecosystem that was not put in place in the early days of the internet because it was never conceived with commerce in mind. It was for defense departments and intelligence. It was for academics. It was for information exchange, not commerce. When you fill in the picture with blockchain technology, all you're doing is saying, yes, uh, there's a more efficient way of doing commerce. We just didn't know commerce was going to be a part of the internet in the 80s and early 90s. Now, a lot of the crypto bulls, Kathy, they'll, they'll say that regulation is good for crypto. Are you in that camp? I think uh, KYC, AML, so know your customer, anti-money laundering is good for, for the ecosystem. Uh, I, I do believe uh, that is true. I think what's confusing from a regulatory point of view is the different definitions of crypto depending on the uh, regulator. Uh, so the SEC in terms uh, of Bitcoin has described it as not a security. The IRS says it's property. Uh, the CFTC uh, says it's more like a commodity. And I think if 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 regulators get together and agree on what uh, exactly these cryptocurrencies are, how to define them, that will be a good thing. Just certainty um, will be a good thing for this ecosystem.